Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. Sorry for my little <clears throat> tired voice. It's in the morning and my voice is still not perfectly clear. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about the Swiss equities, the stocks from Switzerland, because I think they are very interesting at the moment. Uh, it's very, very hard to find any trading opportunities in this market. And usually when it's hard to find a trading opportunity, it means you should either not trade or trade with a very small position. But there is always one or two things to do and you have to be very precise about what you want to do. So I think Swiss equities might be something great. Um, if you don't know, Switzerland has been one of the best performing market pretty much um, for like a long time. Uh, we're going to take a look. I'm going to show you my computer right there and we're going to type in for the MSCI Switzerland first to get an idea about how good Switzerland is in terms of soft performance. So you can see this is the MSCI Switzerland. And you can see that since the Great Recession of 2009, uh, the MSCI Switzerland performed as much as the MSCI World, which is basically the US stock market. We're not going to lie to ourselves. And it performs as well without, be, without having tech into the index. Switzerland has no tech companies and yet it performs as much as the biggest tech company. So it's a very a monster country when it comes to stock market performance. So this is the National Stock Market Index. It's the SMI, which is called Swiss Market Index. There is also the SMIM, which is the mid caps. And you can see that it's pretty different right now. It's not very interesting. So I'm focusing on big caps. And the problem with these local indexes is that you don't get the right currency. The currency here is a Swiss franc and you might want to be looking at an index that represents the index in a global uh, currency. So there's the EWL, which is the MSCI Switzerland ATF, which is basically uh, the MSCI uh, Switzerland, but uh, on an exchange traded fund. So you can chart it right on your computer. So just type EWL and you will be able to see the MSCI Switzerland. So you can compare this to the QQQ and see how it plays. You know, since the Great Recession, you can see that tech stocks still crush completely the um, MSCI Switzerland. Of course, uh, nothing uh, nothing beats the QQQ pretty much around for the last 10 years. But if you go for EWL QQQ and you see the relative strength right now, uh, you can see that we might have some kind of bullish uh, upward momentum and even if we don't have an overperformance on a relative basis it's really uh, a good setup that is forming on the Swiss equities. So as we see the Nasdaq pointing uh, more like down because of rising rates and all that stuff I don't really know, uh, Swiss equities are breaking to new all-time highs and I think it's a interesting uh, exercise to try to go and search for other markets. So that's what I want to do right now. Uh, if you want to take a look at a country's most uh, most biggest companies, you just go into the stock screener, you open the stock screener and you select the country. So you can see I have my uh, Switzerland selected. You can go over um, US, you can go over Germany, you can go over Netherlands, you could go over what where can you go? You can go over Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, Malaysia. But what we want is Switzerland. So you just put your uh, Switzerland selected. You take the screener right there, most capitalized. So it basically sorts everything. And the only criteria is the, um, the symbol type being a common stock. There you go. And we're going to go for the market cap that is sorted by biggest market cap. If you want to change there in uh, Swiss franc, you want to see how much it's worth in dollars, you can change the financials in USD. So the market cap is now displayed in US dollars and it's usually uh, very good for currencies you're not familiar with. For example, if you're looking at Japanese yen or South Korean won or uh, I don't know, uh, Israel, what is it, Keshel, I believe, something like that. Um, the, the unit is not the same, so it's very useful to have this tool to normalize every single uh, market cap all around your screener to get the, an idea of how big the company is. And we're going to check out uh, how are the Swiss valuations doing. And you can see that the, the biggest companies have a pretty 
very good looking chart. Novartis is not really looking good. Um, ABB, LTD, you know, there are some kind of that look pretty good and you have to sort them by how or how good they are looking. But for example, this is one of the one I have set in my list because this is a beautiful trend. You know, since the Great Recession, it's like a wonderful trend. So I have noted a few stocks. I have noted uh, Sika, which is pretty nice configuration. I have noted GIVN, which is also a magnificent trend. You can see how powerful uh, the trends in Swiss equities are. It's just incredibly beautiful. Uh, I've noted Nestle, which is you probably know this company, but it's a little too late to buy, so I'm just going to remove it from my list. I n noted Lindt. Uh, this, they make the chocolate. I don't know if you know about the Lindt chocolate. Uh, I don't buy really Swiss chocolate, but yeah, it could be a great buy. Um, Lonza, I just spoke about it. And uh, Stroma, well, now it's breaking to new down, so failed setup, but back in the days when I was looking at it, it, it looked quite nice. So I don't know what you think about it. What do you think about Swiss equities? Uh, I might as well just screen the market a little, little more and see if there is some good trading opportunities. But yeah, I think it's interesting to take a look at other countries and to see what kind of opportunities you can get from these countries. So that's it. Hope you think it's interesting. Goodbye.